Hey everyone, it's Richard Pollen. Welcome back. I'm going to talk about humanism. Uh, humanism is very popular, and it's the idea that you can come up with ethics and morals without the Bible, without God. And it seems like a pretty good idea because we can be an atheist and we don't have to believe in anything supernatural or irrational, and yet we can uh, have a good life and everyone can have a good life. We can all get along with each other. We can all integrate with each other. And that is wonderful. I agree with that sentiment. We should look to nature and the world and everything in general that we see and take a lesson from it in our service of each other and learn how to get along with each other better. I think humanism is great in that sense. However, it is limited. Because when things get a little bit out of hand, as they often do throughout history, humanism fails. It fails to keep people in line with anything moral. So, for instance, we're just having a war now in Ukraine. And according to the Ukrainians, they're innocent and they didn't do anything wrong. And most of the world agrees with them. But according to Russia, according to Putin, they are Nazis and we are doing an operation to free the land. Now, who is right among them? Which one is right? You can't say which one is right, because there is a faction of Nazis in Ukraine. You can't say one is right, unless, unless you have the Torah, unless you have the Bible, which explains that when someone is a Rodave and he is pursuing somebody else's life, you have to kill him and you have to save that person's life. So Putin is a Rodave and he should be killed, he should be executed, he should be taken out because he's threatening people with nuclear bombs. And once you do that, and he's also shed innocent blood already, in that case, you have to take that person out. But if you're just a humanist, you won't know which direction to go. Logic doesn't take you there. It doesn't take you where you need to go when things start to get out of hand. Hitler made an entire philosophy. He had a book called Mein Kampf, which explains logically, morally, as a humanist, why the Jews need to be destroyed. But if we, if we don't have the Bible, which tells us that the Jews are the... Are the chosen people and they are to be cherished and those that bless them will be blessed and those that curse them will be cursed if we didn't know that from the bible we wouldn't know if hitler's right or wrong there's no way for sure to say that he's wrong maybe jews are like rats and they're destroying the economy and they're doing uh usurious lending and um uh, uh, uh vicious kinds of loans to try to trap people into debt and uh maybe they are the source of all the problems in the world you can't tell me otherwise. As a humanist, you cannot tell me otherwise. I can argue both sides of an argument, and that's a main theme of this channel, that we don't think anybody's wrong or right. We think there's right on both sides and wrong on both sides, and we try to come up with a solution that is a compromise between them both, or rather, even more ideally, something is a the uh, union of the good of both sides and minimizing the bad of both sides, coming up with a solution that... Uh, satisfies every side. And I want to satisfy the side of the humanist because the Torah does say, the Bible does say, if we didn't have the Torah to teach us how to treat each other, we would look at nature and we would find through the animals how to treat each other. Just like the bees all, I just saw a story, uh, I saw a video about bees and how they all, one bee will tell a message to a whole hive of bees and they will all start to behave in the same way. So we learn a tremendous cooperation. When one person finds the truth, everyone else will fall in line and will bring the messianic redemption. We can learn that from the bees. We don't need to learn it from the Torah. However, when things get out of hand, as they often do, you being a humanist will not save the world. You cannot tell Hitler, I'm a humanist and this is wrong. Why is it wrong? Why should it be wrong? What you need is something that's eternal. And the Bible is eternal. It started from Adam and it goes all the way until now. And the Bible constantly tells us what we should be doing and how we should be behaving because it comes from an eternal God and it's an eternal Bible. It never changes. The Torah scroll is, uh, uh, contrary to what I saw on Quora, the Torah scroll is actually the exact copy of the Torah scroll from the Dead Sea Scrolls going all the way back to Moses at Mount Sinai. And it is all proven. Uh, the idea that a God exists is proven on my channel. Look at 25 proofs that God exists. But absolutely, if you want to keep keep the peace and you want to keep, keep people treating each other properly, you can't have a, a humanist philosophy that will allow everyone to 
conflict with each other and disagree with each other, and this one's saying this is moral, and this one's saying this is moral, and who's to decide? In Judaism, with the Bible, it tells you who decides. It says the rabbis decide, the judges decide, and then the, the, the later generation cannot argue with the previous generation. And we all know in Judaism, in Orthodox Judaism, who is in charge and who makes the rulings, and they decide. I, I called a rub a ruling rabbi just yesterday to talk about if I can deduct uh, the 10% of Miser, the uh, tithe uh, from my tuition. Can I use my tuition money as tithe? Can I use child support money as tithe? He tells me the answer based on the Shulchan Aruch, based on the set table, which comes from the Talmud, which comes from Moses at Mount Sinai. There is a structure. There is there is a structure of morality, and it is the 613 commandments for Jews and the seven Nohide commandments for non-Jews. This structure works. This will always be true, and if you give the Jewish people the Orthodox Jews, a chance to have a Messiah that controls the world, you will see in a real sense how this earth becomes a paradise the way it was always meant to be before Adam and Eve sinned. This world will become heaven on earth. Just give us a chance to show you the structure that we have that always gives out a unanimous, unified answer to every single problem on earth. And that's what I have videos about the solution to everything because really when you have this, it's like the center of a circle and we're drawing circles around it. It's always going to be a perfect circle. We're always going to have the perfect answer when the Messiah comes. And I pray the Messiah will come and show you and prove to you that everything the Bible says is true and real scientifically. And while we can learn the morals from nature and from our own logic, it will not hold up when you come to when you come upon really really evil people that can destroy millions and millions of lives so humanists please keep this in mind that your philosophy is limited to good times not to bad times but the bad times do come and they will come and we have to be ready we have to be ready with an eternal torah and like my mentor the Lubavitcher Rebbe said don't come to the un and say don't come to the arabs and say the un says we should be able to have this land of israel you tell them that the eternal Bible says that we own this land of Israel. If it's the UN, the UN can change their mind. But if it's the Bible, which is eternal, then it can never change their mind. And I hope nobody here will change their mind in their belief that the Bible is true, that God is real, and we can bring, we can bring heaven down to earth. And may it come immediately with the coming of the Messiah. God bless.